Hey girl, how y'all doing? So this is a totally different video for me. I wanted to show y'all what I've been doing as part of my self-care routine. I've started spending one day out of the month in bed all day. When I mean all day, baby, I mean I get up. Now, I don't be in there funky. I get up, I brush my teeth, I take my bath. I do any household chores at a minimum. I typically cook the day before, so I eat the leftovers the next day. We ain't cooking on Sunday. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to relax. So one of the things I like to do, y'all, is set the mood. I have all the lights turned off. And this was actually my husband's idea to get some colored light bulbs. So these are colored light bulbs that I purchased through. They're smart, smart, excuse me, um, light bulbs that I purchased through my local uh, Walmart, you can download an actual app to control the lights and the colors. It's very, very beautiful, very nice. Now, his idea was to, you know, to do a little bitty hanky-panky, but I decided to use this. Also, I'm going to be honest, y'all, we've been together for 20 years, okay? Um, I decided to use these as a relaxation. There's a relaxation mode. There's a meditation mode. Whatever you want to do is very, very nice. I will be having everything below that I'm talking about in the description, okay? Not only that, but I like to do lavender oil. Now, I do have a um, air, what do you call it? Not a humidifier, air mister, where I typically mist out lavender oil and frankincense. Um, I also have a pillow mister that has chamomile and lavender, so I set the mood. I typically do that throughout the week anyway, but this is typically for today also. Now, I stay in bed till... 4 or 5 o'clock. I'm not even playing around. Same bed to 4 or 5 o'clock. I look at some movies. I read a book. I read my Bible. Um, I don't call anyone. I don't talk to anyone. Even JB, he'll try to come in there and climb up. Uh-uh. No. And I let him know. Like, hey, this is mommy's day. I'll come in there and say hi to you every now and then. But you on your own. I throw him a bag of chips and he... <laughs> no. He's good. My child's 11 years old. He's good. So, y'all, I'm just going to get it together and relax with my um, Bible here. I'm getting out my Bible, putting the actual laptop away. I have a study Bible and I read my devotional. I've been really bad about that, but I'm trying to get back on it. So I made sure to read my um, devotional, read the scripture, y'all. I think that's very, very important to ingest the word, okay? So that my Sunday, Sunday is actually the first day of the week. Do we understand that? Look at your calendar. It's the first day of the week. So I'm making sure that my week starts off on a good note, okay? It's like three o'clock. Yeah, I worked out around nine o'clock. We went to the store because my wine I got, it was like horrible that I got from Kroger. So we went to 7-Eleven. I picked me up a little thing of wine, opened that up, just had a glass for now. And yeah, I'm going to sit in here and I'm going to finish my, <sighs> my dinner and eat that probably around five. But this is what I do at least once a month. This makes me feel... So good, so charged. I want to let my husband know when he comes back next month that this is the new. I'm not sick. I'm here relaxing. This is not an invitation for you to come in here and be all up on me either. This is, <laughs> we could go there, but nah, I'm I'm in here. I'm relaxed. And I encourage you. I know, I know it can be difficult if you have a lot of small kids too, but not for me, baby. I set boundaries. Like I stated, even when my husband gets back, I'll let them know, look. Mm -mm. So y'all, yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.